to the Pyra, though. Oh my god, I'm telling you, man, Atlanta Landed took it. the lead here again. Punishing them offstage, a lot of people talk about how, as the matchup develops, you're going to see ah. more punishes on the recoveries of Pyra and Mithra, but I don't know, man. The recoveries on the other side, as as better, as much better, as better as people are getting at punishing them on the recovery, the recovers from the Pyras and Mithras are going to get better and better as we go on. We saw it from Cloud and Smash 4 too, very similar thing. Leo casually racking up 75%, by the way. Part of me wonders how much Anathema has played this matchup, because you saw the classic thing there where uh, Mithra got, you know, she ended the final hit with the up B, and then Athema tried to punish it with a fastball neutral air. Tried to get down to the ground and punish her for hitting it, and then he just got up tilted for his trouble. That's yep. something that you gotta gotta breed out of your system. It's something that you kinda have to learn not to try to fight as time goes on because you realize she's gonna get to the ground, you're not gonna be able to punish her. And Anathema just basically got zero to death. Yeah, there. it was Tough. a long long term zero to death, you know what I mean? Here we go. Back air, okay. Pressure there too. It's a crazy thing too. Even if you air dodge or get out of their combos, there's a good chance they force you to ledge anyway. Especially on a stage like Battlefield. Honestly, it might be one of the reasons why you went uh, Pyramid Mithra. Warm them up for the main bracket. I mean, this is Smash War Tour. You're not gonna be. You won't be going 100. percent I know. The, the up B landing. Leo. Crazy. Leo literally landed right in front of Anathema, and Anathema didn't do anything. This is tough. Leo oh. hasn't been.